What's going on guys? Seth here from Team Union. Seth back as your coach of the Philadelphia Feroes for our week 9, nine battle in the RPL uh, against the, let me pull it up real quick, against the Buffalo Bidoof. So the last couple of weeks we have had some issues in the RPL. Uh, we've had a couple coaches drop. We've had to pick up a couple of subs. Uh, so there's been a lot of a lot of mixing around. So this is one of the newer coaches taking over a different team. So they did make a couple of transactions. I believe this team was the Durham Grambles. Yes, the Durham Grambles. Uh, no. The Sherman Slackoffs is what it was. The Sherman Slackoff. Um, so they were the previous team. And so the, the Bidoof took over and I believe they did make some changes as well. So here we are for our team builder. Uh, our opponent's team, they have the Landorus Incarnate uh, with Sand Force, cannot use Shear Force. Uh, Tangrowth, Dublade. So we got Tangrowth, Dublade, Slowking, Drodagon, Meowstic, Zera Aura, Komala, Mesprit, Nidoking, and the Mega Deancey. So looking at the team, obviously it's the main threats. We have Landorus, we have Slow. Uh, I'm not Slowking. Landorus, Nidoking, and Deancey are the main threats that you see pop out right away. Zero Aura can be scary. It's obviously super fast. Tangrowth can be really annoyingly bulky. And Dublade, if it sets up, can definitely be an issue. Um, Slowking can be pretty bulky on the special side. It can potentially Trick Room Sweep. Uh, Dredagon is also very bulky and nice as well. Um, I do see him having some potential for Trick Room with things like the Dredagon, the Slowking, Dublade, even Meowstic. Um, and then throw in maybe Mesprit and Nidoking. Those could possibly... Uh, come in and put in some work in Trick Room. So it's something to be aware of. I'm not exactly prepared for that, but it's something that I know is possible and I don't think should be too much of an issue. Excuse me, too much of an issue. So we'll see what happens from there. But in terms of what I expect him to bring, I do expect him to bring Landorus. I think it just has too good of a matchup against my team. Um, Dublade, Slowking, Dredagon, Zera Aura, and Nidoking. That's what I'm expecting him to bring. Those are the six uh, I think he will bring. Uh, like I said, Dublade can be pretty can be pretty scary if it does decide to set up. Slowking is just nice for my team in general. Um, it can kind of take hits from the Nido Queen. It helps with things like Tornadus and is good for Darmanitan uh, and potentially even Cresselia. Um, Dredagon, I think he needs to bring Dredagon to help his team against my Darmanitan because other than that. Darmanitan, or Scarf Darmanitan kind of destroys his team with Flare Blitz if he does not bring the, the, the Dredagon, so I think he really needs to bring that. Zero Aura, because it outspeeds my Megalopony, I think he's definitely going to bring that. Um, I don't think there's really a question there. Plus, it's nice for my Skarmory. Gets knockoff for Cresselia. Uh, it's really nice for my Suicune, so it really breaks through my wall core, so I think he's. I think it's very necessary that he that he's going to bring that. Uh, Nido King. I do think he's going to bring Nido King. It's just such a powerful wall breaker. It does a lot of damage to a lot of things on my team. It doesn't necessarily outspeed some of the threats on my team, but he could potentially run a Scarf set or just a set to uh, to break through some walls and, and force some switches. So let's get into the team. Um, so we have the team right... Whoa. We have the team right... Wah! Stop it! There we go. So we have the team right here. So starting off, we have Chest Day, our Nido Queen with the Choice Scarf and Sheer Force. With Earth Power, Sludge Wave, Ice Beam, and Thunderbolt, 72 in HP, 252 in Special Attack, 184 in Speed with the Modest Nature. So, um, this set uh, out allows <coughs> allows uh, Nido Queen to outspeed Mega Deancey. Uh, we're not able to outspeed the Zera Aura even if we go Max Attack Timid or you know Speed Boost in Nature. So, just decided to outspeed Deancey. Zera Aura is not going to really want to stay in on this thing anyway. It, it doesn't really get coverage to beat it. Give me one sec. Um, it doesn't really get coverage to beat it, so I didn't really think it was necessary to outspeed Zero Aura. Obviously, we can't, but I didn't think it was completely necessary. Like, it hindered us too much that we couldn't outspeed it. Plus, if he sees that he's faster than we are, um, it'll be a little bit easier. Like, we can bait that we're not Scarf, basically. So, that's really nice. Um, this thing is a good wall breaker against his team. We needed the extra speed for things like DNC. Want to make sure we outspeed the Nido King. Uh, for Landorus, we outspeed that. Zero, um, like I said, Zero Aura is kind of there. Um, but making sure that we can outspeed some of those core threats and really fire off a powerful hit on them, I think it's going to be really nice. Um, this next set I'm really excited about. So we have On Fleek Ardar Manitan with the Fire Fireum Z and the Zen Mode. We are bringing Zen Mode Darmanitan. Sunny Day Substitute Flamethrower and Psychic, 28 in HP, 4 in defense, 252 in special attack, and 224 in speed with the Timid Nature. So I'm super excited about this thing. Um, I'm about to battle my the my opponent so he's uh adding me on on discord but anyway i'm really excited about this set because it's gonna put in a lot of work so with the fire emz 
we're able to outspeed. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're out. We're able to outspeed Landorus at plus one um, in the sun. So that speed, that that plus one speed boost will allow us to outspeed everything up to Landorus. So we only don't outspeed the the, the Ancy or the uh, the Zero Aura, but hopefully they'll be gone by that time. So we do outspeed a lot of things after that plus one, and this thing just hits like a truck, man. This it's got base like Darmanitan's super good with base 140 attack. Zenmo Darmanitan has base 140 special special attack, which is insane. Substitute is there to help us help bring us down uh, to that 50% so we can get our Zen mode off. Plus, if we can just get a sub set up and get in Zen mode, that would be really, really nice. Flamethrower and Psychic just for dual stab because Zen mode Darmanitan does turn into a Psychic type. So we're going to really have to wear his team down a bit for, for this thing to come through. It doesn't really Oko a lot of things on his team, even in the sun. However, it does a lot of damage. Like, we're talking 80-90% to most of his team in the sun. So it's, it's going to be really nice having this thing there. We just need to make sure that we wear down the team and can bring this thing in late game so we can potentially sweep. So up next, we have Drippin, our Gudra with the Assault Vest and Sap Sipper, Earthquake, Ice Beam, Thunder Punch, and Fire Punch. 252 in attack, 4 in special attack, 252 in special defense with the Sassy Nature. This thing's pretty straightforward. It's mainly there to take hits from the Landers and from a Nido, Queen, uh, Nido King, uh, as well as potentially the, the Diancy if necessary. Um, it's here to take hits and then just fire back damage. Pretty simple. It can also help me handle Sloking a little bit better. I expect him to run Psy Shock instead of Psychic on the Sloking, but it shouldn't make too much of a difference. Um, we do have the Thunder Bunch, which is going to hit it pretty hard. So overall, pretty simple set. The Ice Beam is there for the Landorus. Um, unfortunately, Gudra does not get any physical ice coverage, so we had to run the Ice Beam instead, uh, and then everything else is physical, so that's why we're a little split on the set. Sap Zipper is there, so this thing is basically our main switch into the, uh, the Tangrowth as well. Even if he runs physical with like Knock Off or Earthquake, Power Whip, whatever, we can take the potential Leech Seed, Sleep Powder, Power Whip, anything like that, and get that plus one attack boost, so that'll be really nice as well. Next up, we have Halbert, our Skarmory, with the Walk Unberry and Weak Armor. Uh, Stealth Rock Spikes, Iron Head, and Roost, 112 in HP, 252 in Defense, 144 in Speed with the Impish Nature. This is our dedicated lead. So, I want to get up Rocks and get up Spikes. His only way to get rid of... Well, he has a couple ways to get rid of Hazards, but they're not great. Landorus gets Defog. I don't think he's going to want to run Defog on Landorus. Komala gets Rapid Spin. I'm really not thinking he's going to bring that. And then Mega Deancy obviously has Magic Bounce. So it can't get rid of them, but it can prevent them. And we have our check for that with the Iron Head. So Stealth Rock and Spike really going to be really nice. If he brings the Zero Aura and he leads with it, I can live a Plasma Fist no matter what. Even if he's Adamant Choice Band, I can live a Plasma Fist, obviously with the Walk on Berry. Get my Weak Armor up, so we'll double our speed. So I'll be getting my one layer of Hazards up. I outspeed the Zero Aura. After the Weak Armor boost, I can get another layer of Hazards up as he knocks me out. Or if he leads the Ancy, I can just Iron Head that thing get rid of it, and then be free to fire off hazards the next turn. So, uh, And then Roost is just there if I want to try to stay around a little bit longer. We have that option as well. So uh, next up we have Bugs, our Megalopony with Elopinite and Limber. Substitute Power Up Punch, Return, and Drain Punch. 72 in HP, 252 in Attack, uh, 4 in Special Defense, and 180 in Speed with the Adamant Nature. So we don't need to run, um, we don't need to run Jolly this week because... Zero Aura outspeeds us, yes, but the next his next B tier down is Mega Deancy, and we outspeed that without having to run Jolly, which is really nice. So we're able to run Adamant, super powerful Megalopony. Substitute is there. Um, if I can get a sub up on a switch to potentially come in on Dublade or something like that, which doesn't want to take a high jump kick, I can potentially sub up or just something that I know is going to have to switch out. Um, potentially Komala, maybe something like Nido King or even Mega Deancy. Doesn't really want to take hits from this thing, so Slow King maybe. So nothing really wants to take a hit from this thing. Um, so I can potentially sub up on that, get a power up punch up, and start firing off super powered attacks. Last but not least, we have Girlfriends past our Rotom with the Cassid Berry and Levitate. Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball, Hidden Power, Ice. 48 in HP, 252 in Special Attack, 208 in Speed with the Timid Nature. So, um, this set allows us to take... With the Cassaberry, we take a plus two Shadow Sneak from the Dublade, and then we can potentially fire back a Shadow Ball and knock that thing out. So this is kind of our answer if he does decide to set up the plus two with the Dublade. That's what we're going to do. So pretty simple set. This thing also allows us to get some momentum. We do outspeed the Nido King as well with the investment. So that's it for the team. Make sure you guys comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. Uh, but other than that, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.